So this is my first video where there is actual video involved. And I'm, gonna te I'm testing to see if my batteries are the problem or my charger. And you can see there I've got 10 and a half volts with my batteries wired in series like they would be for a fire alarm system to deliver 24 volts. So I know that I've got low voltage. The question is, is my, is my panel just not charging them or what? So now I'm going to be metering the current of the charger. So my charger was not hooked up. Now it's going to be hooked up through my meter. And you can see I have zero amps of current. I didn't do a good job of getting the meter leads in the picture here, but um, so my first thought was, well, let me make sure I didn't bump the min max button or something and lock it in at zero. So I turn my meter off, turn it back on, set it back to DC current, meter it again, I still have nothing. So <clears throat> my next thought is, okay, let's see if there's any charging voltage now that the batteries are hooked up. So before they weren't hooked up, I just metered across the pair and I had 10 and a half volts. Now I'm hooking it up, and those of you familiar with batteries will know that you can have a different, you know, when the batteries are under no load whatsoever, you can get a different reading than when you, you put a load on them. And so now I only have one and a half volts. And while that's not truly a load, it's clearly draining them as soon as I hook them up. But the question is, is my charger working or not? So at this point I'm wondering, okay, well, let, let me prove first that there's not something wrong with my meter. How do I know I didn't blow the fuse in my meter? And so I'm just disconnecting the output circuit. This would be like a horn strobe circuit or a strobe circuit. And I'm just metering the standby current of that. So I know it's going to be very low, but I should see something if my meter is working properly. So it's set to DC current. I land it there and you can see I have two milliamps, which is tiny, but it should be tiny. So my meter is working. So now I have an older fire alarm panel there, which has its own battery charging circuit. I meter the voltage of these batteries again. There's my 10 and a half volts with them not connected. I throw my meter on the charging circuit and I don't get any voltage, but that's not unusual because a lot of these chargers can sense when the battery is hooked up and so they aren't actually trying to charge the battery until they sense it's there. So now I've set my meter for current again. Now you can actually see the meter leads. They're different than they are for voltage. Put my meter in series with the circuit. And when I land it, still nothing. So now I've got a brand new set of batteries in the picture. First thing I'll do is check the voltage of these batteries. So you can see my meter leads are back where they would be for voltage and I've got 25 and a half volts. So I turn the light on and then turn the meter off. That makes a lot of sense. So now I'm setting it up for DC current again. Turn it to current, push the little yellow button to get it to DC. And now I'm gonna put my meter into the circuit And as soon as I touch here, now you see 640, 650 milliamps, right? So now you could tell that panel is trying to charge these batteries. So in the old situation, the old case, it didn't even think it had batteries connected because the voltage was so low. So now I'm wondering, well, maybe my original power supply was okay. So now I have the original power supply back in the picture. That's the Honeywell HP FF8 that initially, you know, I was leaning towards maybe that's the problem. So I'm, I've got my meter set for current again. Again, put it in series. And there you go, I've got 600 milliamps again. So now I've pretty much proven my original problem was the batteries, not the charger.